three, two, one. But what's the date? Hello and welcome. It is the 18th of December, 2019. I'm Mark. I'm Eric. And today we are going to be having having the Ithaca Soda Company root beer, which claims to be the soda of the Finger Lakes. And um, this Ithaca Soda Co. was um, established in 1998. And although they primarily focus on alcoholic beverages, they also do have root beer and like ginger beer too. So a variety of different uh, sodas. Yeah, folks, so the soda of the Finger Lakes, or more specifically, the soda of the Finger Lake, singular. The shores of Lake Cayuga, the southern shores, um, is where Ithaca Soda Company is located. Ithaca, of course, coming from the Greek word Ithaca, or the Greek city Ithaca, one of those, I don't know. But, um, as Mark said, Ithaca Soda Co. is part of Ithaca Beer Company, which, of course, is in Ithaca. It's pretty nice. They have a whole, um, the whole brewery is open. To, uh, for tours and everything. There's also a restaurant on uh, base two during my time on, while I was in school up at Cornell. Ever heard of it? Haha. <laughs> um, I went there a few times. Good food there. Got to go on a tour there. Pretty cool establishment all the way around. Um, it's also pretty neat. There's a piece of Ithaca um, at like stores too. You can get this in a lot of variety of different locations, which is uh, pretty neat. Um, looking on the bottle here, our root beer has a rich cream body and gently spiced flavor. Um, what that spice is actually coming from, according to the website, is um, natural Panama bark extract. Um, so a little international feel to it. Um, it goes great with a scoop, big scoop of ice cream, so I guess it's advertising. Um, it's a uh, palatability in a root beer float. And it's also only brewed in small batches to maximize, uh, I guess, quality and taste. But we'll be the judges of how well that quality is actually at play. Um, what, Mark? Something I just noticed just now, actually, is at the bottom of the bottle, it has these, those, like, dots that you can, like, so you can, like, feel for, like, oh. a word, and it has that going all the way around. So now I can't translate that, but I'm, I'm curious as to what it means. Well, that's probably for people who are on board. Yes, but it might be a secret message. Uh, who knows? That's bold accusation, but who knows? Um, what else do we got here? Not a cog, made with whole vanilla beans. Star anise. A nice crap and here we are again. It's, it's a nice, right? Anise. It's either anise. <laughs> a nice. So it's either. And juniper berries. Oh, fruit. Folks, I'm not a big fruit person. So, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's get to open these babies. Uh, a nice gold. Uh, Gold uh, top here, contrast the brown bottle. Mark, you, I don't think you can twist that off, so this thing's for you. Also, the there's no sugar or like nutrition facts anywhere on the bottle or the... Um, yeah, so I had to like look it up, yeah. folks. So 41 grams of sugar, 160... Got it. Calories. The right yeah, way, too. Wow. Also, it says here in this little label section, up below it says soda of the Finger Lakes, but up here it says the spirit of the Finger Lakes. So, which one is it, folks? I guess we'll find out. Get to this pour. Also, it does use cane sugar. That's yeah, definitely. Mention. From the initial smell of the bottle, definitely the cane sugar is at play. Oof, a lot of fits. Mark's actually having a better pour than me today, folks. As always. That's the first time, but first time for everything. Day 18, right? Took him 18 tries. Definitely emphasis on the cane sugar. Hopefully, I'm not, not too overwhelmed by that. Hopefully, I can taste more of the, what do you call it, the Panamanian bark. And the, the anise. Panama bark extracts. And, the, and it's not the anise or whatever the hell. <laughs> whatever the heck I also said. What do you think? Any comments on the smell? Just the cane sugar. It's... Yeah, it's just overwhelming cane sugar. Don't really smell the root beer, but hopefully, we'll be able to taste it. Alright, cheers, kid. I'm just getting a mouthful of foam so far. Hmm. You know, folks, definitely tasting a lot of, a lot of the cane sugar. It actually tastes like tea a little bit, like some tea leaves. Like um, the tea you get at Panda House, you know, that sweet tea or whatever. That's not a good thing for me. I don't like tea. 
I mean, I don't hate it. It just doesn't, not heavy on the root beer taste. It's unique. You know, it's got that regional taste, of course. Sure, Zoe Cayuga. Again, it's a good taste, but much like, um, I forget what root beer I said this about, um, but it's not, just not great for root beer, which is, you know, it's a root beer review, not just a beverage review. So that's going to factor into the score, folks. Yeah, the root beer flavor, it's not very strong. It's just, um, has the, does have like the root beer taste, but it's masked by the, like, I feel like the carbonation's getting in the way. Yeah, all right, folks, right off the cuff, I'm going to give it a 6-4. A little bit harsh, a little bit harsh. You know, I don't want to do the town my alma mater was in uh, too, too dirty, but yeah, tasty. Honestly, I think it's pretty tasty, but just not like the root beer taste I'm looking for. What am I going to do? 6.4 on day number 18, Ithaca Soda Company root beer. Mark, what about you? I'll give it slightly higher, give it a passing 6.5. Mm. So, so we're pretty much in sync with scores there, mm -hmm. and you just don't like it. What do you, what do you say, Mark? I was really hoping, um, like we mentioned the other day, it would be a top 10 going forward. Um, yeah. Well, now we're in the top six, only six days to go. And um, hasn't felt like that. It's felt like we've been listing the 24th every day. Ah, yeah. But after today, folks, 75% done. Less than a week left. A week from today is Christmas. Crazy. We're in the spirit. Saw Santa Claus today. Uh, get ready for that photo drop tomorrow. Uh, Mark will finally have a full day of school tomorrow. So shout out to I that. I didn't have a delay today. That so was finally awesome. a full day tomorrow. Back in school. Maybe. Um, Garrett Cole announced today. Or at least introduced today. Pretty cool. Uh, Mark, you got anything else? Um, no, not really. Shameless plug. Say hey, it's a great day at Chick-fil-A, baby. About to chow down. We'll see you tomorrow. That's why this video is coming out so late. <laughs>